today on this episode we're going to be talking about what this rig has and so far what I've put into this rig. Thanks for tuning in to Unique Trail Adventures. There's a lot of different ways to do a custom build, of course. On a lot of my builds, I'm on a limited tire budget, so I tend not to splurge on the equipment and the parts that I use for my builds. However, I do like something that would last and something that would be tough and strong to be able to handle the trails when we're out there, because as we all know, it would suck if you get a failure or breakdown out on the trails. I put into this maybe some of the parts may be inexpensive or at least compared to the name brands out there on the less expensive side but however I still pretty decent quality and so far I've had a ton of fun with these custom 1 6th scale builds and still be reliable. On that let's get right to it. For the battery I use these zippy these are 3s batteries on the way i've got this set up i could use either 2s or 3s batteries the 3s gives me a little bit better punch this is very low milliamp hours it's only 1400 milliamp hours as you can see on here but even with this and it is a 30c battery so the 3s is 11.1 volts and even with this i get a quite a bit of time playtime with these rigs out on the trails because of course they're low speed uh, since they're mainly for crawling and scale running it still lasts a quite a bit of time this 3s battery pretty much it could last me an hour or so out there on the trails even though it's low milliamp hours but still has the punch to get me up and over those rocks i've started off as i got back into the rc world i started off with the tracks that struck all my batteries and ESCs I'm using Traxxas plug. One other thing about these Traxxas or TRX plugs, um, I stopped buying the Traxxas plugs. They are great plugs, don't get me wrong, but for the money I get these plugs from eBay and also these batteries from Hobby King. So I'll put a link in the description box below. We'll do a walk around on this rig so you can kind of see what we've got on this rig. As I started off this build, of course, I went underneath to fix the chassis. So there's gonna be some cuts that needed to be made. Um, right off the bat here, I am using one of these metal drive shafts. I, I didn't go with MIP, at least less expensive side. For this particular rigs, uh, well, if you've been following the channel, I have a couple of these custom 1 6th build Jeep Bullies GI Joe build. So for this one, I'm using axle axles. I've got the extenders on here. I've actually, this is actually a very solid setup because inside here, I am using a lengthened axle. So it's the proper width for this scale as far as the wheelbase, uh, the wheelbase here and also the track width. So inside, I'm using the axle universals that have been cut this is called the AX mod these awesome universals from axial are pretty bulletproof I've cut them to length to fit in because these axles are normally equal length but longer so I've cut those down to size so, so they fit in and they extend out inner shafts that are stronger uh, these inner for this particular build I'm using these uh, solar servos um, as you can see it underneath the chassis there. I did a little bit of a different setup on here. I've got the solar servo sticking out from underneath the engine compartment there and coming out. These solar servos are very inexpensive. I get these from Hobby Parts with the Z.com. I'll put the links into the description box below. Here's the solar servo inside the hood. So I've got it facing that way towards the radiator compartment right here and I've got that poking underneath. Uh, it's pretty secure in there. It's screwed into the plastic of the of the chassis and it stays on very well. It's solid, solid performer, strong servo for on the cheap. An axial transmission that's been mirrored so it's facing the other way and I've got this inexpensive brushed motor going into. I've got this. This is a hobby wing brushed ESC that's capable of you can use 2 or 3S. It does have drag brake so for those descents down the hill it still has pretty decent control. So Hobbywing ESC again, 
very inexpensive but strong. For the receiver, I'm using a an FR a Fly Sky receiver. It's a three-channel receiver. That's enough for what I need this rig for. Um, again, fairly inexpensive. For the transmitter, I'm using a hacked Fly Sky transmitter that's capable of multiple rigs and multiple channels. One of the other mods I did to this transmission besides doing the mirror mod is I am using steel gears inside so so that way it is bulletproof and I don't get any failures out there on the trails and underneath this rig here it is inside that is the transfer case aluminum casing with all metal gears inside that's got 32 pitch gears I started off with this was originally an RC four-wheel drive part this is the second rig so for this particular rig I did not use this is an off-brand, but again, it's been bulletproof for me. Haven't had any problems with this transfer case, and it's been working pretty good. I'll put links in the description box below for this inexpensive but strong transfer case. And now for the walk around in the rig, what else do I have on here? I do have some nice wheels and tires on this bad boy. Um, for the shocks, I am using um, these shocks. From right here, these are boomerang shocks, and I got those from Asia Tees. I've got a metal fuel can here, metal fuel can, got anchor, um, and some other scale details inside this rig. Roll cage, this is custom steel tubing. This was originally car, real car brake lines that have been cut and bent and brazed to form a steel roll cage. So I'm fairly new at brazing so I still got to work on my skills on that. So far I am enjoying and of course it's a learning process. Over here I've got a failure here. If you can see that crack from where it's separated from rolling and different things. This cage has had a lot of repairs because as with the learning process it's an ongoing thing. And if you can see here I've had to put in a plate that helps support that joint to make it a little bit stronger. Got GI Joe here as the scale driver. That's a quick walk around of this rig and what I've got in here. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to your answers. Again, thank you very much for watching. And also for this, as you can see here, I'm using a Hobbywing UBEC. It's a universal battery eliminator circuit. With this thing attached in line with the wiring, it allows me to get full voltage going to my solar servo so it gets the full power and torque going to control the steering to be able to turn these 2.2 wheels. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments below what you've used. If you've got some of these 1-6 scale Willys Jeep rigs that used to be a GI Joe toy. Uh, again, these are custom builds. It does take quite some time to build them but once you get them all done it is a blast they're awesome super detailed and uh, very cool looking rigs there's a lot of time that have been put into these and definitely love uh, running them out in the trails super fun if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel 